In this short video, we're going to touch on one of the tools that you'll need to be familiar with to work effectively with Ruby on Rails. And this, there's a short series of videos that cover the various tools that you'll need to at least understand and be able to use at some level to effectively get a Rails application up and running. In this particular video, we're just going to touch on the basics of the command line. Now, on Mac OS X, the command line consists of the terminal program, which is located inside of your utilities folder, which is inside of your application folder. And you may have not known that it was actually in there, and it's located right there. I keep mine in my dock since I need access to it all the time for a lot of various projects that I work on. In Windows, it's accessible It's the from the uh, run command from your start menu if you type cmd in that little window that comes up you will get a command window and you can essentially give the same commands and in Linux, it's a x term window in the command line you should be familiar with how to do simple lists such as the ls command you should be able to move in and out of directories using the cd command and in dos these commands are going to vary a little bit let me move back down into my rails project and in this case, I'm using, I use the tab key to autocomplete, which makes things simple. In other words, I can type in part of a directory name and hit the tab key and it'll complete it. And that works in Windows as well, also in Linux. And if I do a list long, and that's the ls-l, it's a little, this is called a flag on the command. I can see much more information about what is in this particular directory. I should also be familiar with how to run specific commands in Rails, such as the in the script uh, folder of my application. Let me move into my cookbook application here and go down into the script directory. There's a number of commands in here, and if I move out of here, I should be able to run those. And this about command just tells me a little bit about what's on this machine and about this project a little bit. So you need to be able to move around quickly and effectively with the command line and be familiar with it. The main thing, two aspects that you'll be getting from this are, are via the command line, is you'll be running the server. So if I do script server, this will actually start my Rails web application using the uh, Webbrick HTTP server so I can do development testing via this. This is not something you want to use in production, but it certainly makes development quite handy because you can be on an isolated workstation and, and without being on the internet or have access to a web server and do quite well. The other command that you'll probably want to get used to running is our console, which actually puts us inside of our application so that we can, let's see, let's do recipe. We can actually issue commands to our application, and there I ask it to find all of the recipes and it returned all the recipes. So my application is actually running and I have command line access and I can run and anything that I do inside of a controller I can run from here. So you do need to be familiar with the command line. I'd get in there, play with it, understand it. It's not a scary place and it's quite powerful for you to be able to move around and get work done. I hope that you watch other videos, and we have several other videos on simple tools that you need to be familiar with. So, thank you.